Check this. Hey guys, how's it going? MG Games are back here on another episode of the MSG to Glory. This is literally uh, later on in the day, in the night, more than like after I recorded episode one. So here's hoping that's going down very well. Oh, let's go! That's class! Before we go any further though, if you do like the videos, please don't forget to leave like, subscribe, comment below, share friends, all the great stuff you support is very much appreciated. Right now, let's get into it. This is our starting squad. We did have Griezmann up front, but unfortunately, his loan day expired, so we have Amin Guiri. Only played one game with him. We did technically score, but. I think the person quit, so... Well, no, I know the person quit, and I didn't give them the goal. Oh, well, we'll take it regardless. And, not only that, we have a very interesting SVC that we are about to complete. But first, luckily, due to us, like, I think it's loyalty, uh, we now have a base icon player pick, which I'm not sure if it's random or it's programmed for the same one as everybody. I think you get an icon three games on loan. If I honestly had to take one, give me a striker or a, maybe a winger. So let's see who we get. No, it's it's literally, we get the choice of Pele, Croy for Pushkas. Now I know what you're thinking. Pick Pele. Pick Pele, no, no, what are you doing? Okay, okay, at least gonna pick Croy, no. He's lost it. It's over. Only the reason is because Pushkas has the best shoot. Nah, I'm gonna pick Baby Cruyff. I'm always gonna pick Baby Cruyff. Two absolute legends of the game of Johan Cruyff and Hamas Miller side by side. And you'd never think you'd see it in the flesh. But anyway, we do actually have a pack. I can't actually remember what it is. Oh, God. No, never mind. Never mind. We're just gonna forget about this. <clears throat> just saw the Liverpool chant in there. I'm gonna happily apply that in my free time. But now, let's just get into the SPC. I have completed, I pressed the wrong thing there, I have completed the best uh, hybrid leagues, I, no it's hybrid nations, uh, SPC, it was actually quite cheap, cost me about uh, 6 and a half, 7k, uh, had to buy Patricio, had to buy Kiar, had to buy Coleman, uh, a lot of these types of tackle, this was actually the most expensive, the silver, considering I was able to use the silver, is a bit of a miracle, I uh, had to buy uh, Calvin Lewin, had to buy... A Celso and had to buy Hammers Rodriguez, but for over for six and a half seven k to get a fifty k pack, I think it's pretty dang good. We are saying goodbye to Mancini and Romagnoli, but sacrifices have to be made to get ourselves a cheeky fifty k pack that we're not going to open just yet. You thought I was going to open it straight away, didn't you? No, you're gonna have to stick around for that. Well, well, I was not expecting this. Um, I just got promoted to Division Nine with a win, and there's an actual little celebration. So. Get in. <laughs> That's actually great. Uh, we beat an absolute money team 5-1 after frustratingly losing a game 1-0 despite having an XG of 5.6 compared to 2.4. But I am going to Claude Maurice Hattrick just saying he's one of the best cards in the game. Like, oh my god, he's just so good. He's just so good. But we're now in Division 9. Like, let me just show you this guy's team. Ederson, Reese James, Sergio Ramos, who came on for Romero, Diaz, Rudiger. Tierney, Fabinho, Allen, Silva, Kane, and Vardy. Not to mention, you had Fernando, Raul Jimenez, Matip, Keita, Phillips, and Foden on the bench. But it doesn't matter because we smashed them. And Division 9 is now ours. A few more objectives completed. A little bit more experience along with a milestone, which I would link is Stadium Development 2, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so it's not that big and um, we complete competitive play and a 500 coin boost which is very handy i'll happily take that and now i believe we get who's alfonso davies yeah we get alone alfonso davies so if we ever go bundesliga we at least have him for nine games which is pretty good now that that's over we can celebrate by completing the hybrid nations or leagues i can't remember hybrid nations there you go we have completed we also got rare mega pack so we have a couple of packs open but not only that we will be rebuilding our squad just so we can Buffer it up and get ready for Division Knights. We have a gold players pack, a rare a 50k pack, a rare mega pack, and an electron players pack. So we're gonna open that up for straight away. By the way, player prices are starting to rise up. Like on my other account, I packed Upa Makana and Valverde. When I packed them, Upa Makana was 17k and Valverde was just about 30k. Now Upa Makana is 25k and Valverde sold for 46k instantly. So just saying, if you did hold on to players, their price will go up, so don't lose faith. We got Liverpool legend Alberto Moreno. Jesus, wow, that looks like my moustache. Just put my face on Moreno's face and then you got me, basically. Right, gold players pack. Now, I, I swear to God, if we don't get at least a board of all these three packs, then my God, what a disappointment this would be. It didn't cost me a lot of coins, but it's just, you know, it's just principle. Stop giving me 
Copa Libertadores players, seriously, it's getting annoying now. Benatia! Oh god, your pace is terrible. But still, I just remember having great memories of him, especially, I, I think it was FIFA 17 or 18. He got a team of season card and it was so good. Pedro Porro, who's one of the objective players that we will hope to get if we ever get to one. And for anyone who wants to get happy, you what? It's Neon! Oh, and it was the Ibrahimovic troll back in the day, because anytime Ibra got mad on the match card, so did this guy. Right, what do I open first? The 50k pack or the 55k pack? Since 50k packs are all players, I don't know. Ooh, first big packs of the road to glory they're tradable too so to be honest i'll take it just just give me one board at, at the very least okay we're going to go with a nose pack for the rare mega pack come on is it walk out oh di maria i am actually so happy i got to read the fucking back of the jersey because if i saw that my first th thought is messy first walk out on the road to glory is angel di maria could have been Bessie, but, you know, we're going to take that regardless. Angel Di Maria, we got Luis Alberto, no, yeah, Luis Alberto. We got Angelino as well. Tr uh, two boards and a Di Maria. He's slightly open price, but I'm going to keep him for fodder. Who knows, we might even use him in the squad, because I know what you're thinking. Why would you use him as two-star weak foot? I don't mind. He's basically Robin. Hunter, did these actually sell? They're, ex they're ahem, extinct, but I don't think people will actually buy them. I think people will buy a Belgium Tifo. Yep, they'll go for about 500. Chelsea Tifo will also sell because of all the Chelsea fans. Another 500 coins. And I doubt Espanyol will sell. Oh, never mind. That'll also go for 500 coins. The power of just the beginning of FIFA. You can make coins off a lot of players. We'll put Ensa, actually, since he's not your pace. No, sadly not. So we're going to send that to the club anyway. And that is a success. We got two boards and our first walkout of the Rotary. But now we have a 50k pack. We're going to get... Let's see, what do I have in this room? Ah, well... Yeah, Captain Price again, why not? Just to start things off before we go into our squad builders. What do we get in this 50k pack? Another walkout. Trent Alexander Arnold! Get in, lads! Come on! Two walkouts back to back. I am delighted with that. Is Pack look up or did I just get really lucky? Oh, Trent, get in there, son. That's great. 287s back to back. And here's his now. And Correa, who actually sells for something. Oh, uh, hold on to one for now. We got Richardson, also my sell for something. Nope, okay. But still, Trent. Hello, sir. How are you doing? Uh, he's not that expensive. Wait, was he even going for 15k? Really? Wow. Do I hold on to him? You know what? I'll list him up for the 17. Just to get some coins into the club. I'll keep Di Maria, though, just in case of SBCs. But back-to-back -back walkouts. Our first two walkouts of the Road to Glory. Trent and Di Maria back-to-back. -back. I see that as an absolute win. And Correa sells for a little as well. But, ooh, actually, there's a 7 point. How does that make sense? How does it... Okay, that must be someone transferring coins or something. I'll keep a hold of them anyway in case we ever go into a La Liga squad. But overall, I think that's an absolute success. And here it is, our brand new team. It literally... Apart from Langley, Carlos and Tellez and Claude Maurice, it's completely just because Senyo and goal, even though all goalkeepers are pretty good in this game. I just got Hingles of 83 rain and overall it's well around. So we got Atal in a pack. So, you know, might as well get that strongly to Claude Maurice because I don't want this guy to leave. Like, this guy from from centre mid. Just saying. From centre mid. Um, obviously, we already know these guys. Indombele, who's actually very good on the ball this game. In game, Like, I actually went up against him. He was very, very silky smooth on the ball. So, I'm going to keep him there. I gave uh, Atal, by the way, Sentinel just boost up his two lowest stats. Uh, obviously, Claude Maurice. Coughlin's there just there for chemistry because there's, apart from Fekir... Like, he's really the only okay-ish looking midfielder. And he'll be our DM, more than likely. Like, he's okay defending stats. Okay, aggression. Like, the defending would be higher apart from the low heading accuracy. Despite... Oh, actually, no. He's only 5'9". But still, it's an okay card. Nothing special. Obviously, we packed Dean Maria. Dean Maria on the right. Lamar on the left. And then we're going to use Angel Correa as our striker with a sniper. Boosting up his attack position to 89. 93 shot power. 96 long shots. 90 volleys. 85 finishing is already good enough. Uh, 71 strength, a lot of stamina, and a good amount of aggression in there as well. 4 star, 4 star, pretty nice. Trent has now sold for the 15k by the way, and as you can see, this came out yesterday, it was after I recorded though. Shakiri want to watch? Personally, if it was an 82, I might have done it, but I just feel like, I don't know, I just don't think it's going to be worth it. Because, uh... 
I just don't see a point like people can make the argument oh he can link to a babu and he could be yes he'll be a good cat but maybe he could be a good super sub but personally for me I'm not really that interested I'm just looking to see if they do release anything for 6 p.m. content and no okay anyway I think we're gonna go give this team a try at the very least we might play one or two games it's based on how I'm feeling we'll just get into this now and see how our new squad goes and we are going to get the full Premier League sweat team okay uh, I could have seen that coming swung in headed out no it's not head to the edge of the box from Abby Keita good save by the goalkeeper Senjo by it's another good save by Senjo <laughs> Is that a penalty? I didn't even press anything there. Come on, game. All right, Mikel Antonio. This is Asenjo. And it's right down the middle, damn it. Okay, then. Oh, quick feet. Go on, do an Iron Robin. Iron Robin. And it's... Uh... Out wide. Go on, Tellez. Overlapping run. Score, son. Go on. Oh. Rebounder, yes, and who is it? It's the man, the myth, the legend that is Claude Maurice. We are going to apologise though because it is a bit bullshit. It's not the greatest goal in the world, but we take those. Claude Maurice in a team of superstars still stands out. Make a tackle. That was late, very late. Oh, is that red? It's not. Okay, here's a free kick though, James Madison. Oh, crap. If this guy can take free kicks, it's probably a goal. Oh, okay, no, luckily not. Claude Maurice. Correa. Oh, he's managed to sneak a pass. Go on, Angel Correa. Go on, Angel. Oh, he's tried to lob the goalkeeper, and it's another shit goal, but we take them. Angel Correa. Oh, Di Maria. Oh, damn it. It's, a, it's just a shame he has a two star weak foot. Good block. Oh, goes right back to him. Good block. Goes right back to him. Good block. Goes right back to him. And a good save. Oh, he's trying to run away. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Oh, Claude Maurice. Cla just, just, just Claude Maurice. Honestly, what a star card this guy is. Absolutely unbelievable. Keepers up for the corner as well, so I would love to just catch him on the counter. Okay, this is my player, Correa. Run, son. You know what? Just run. Just run. You have to pace. You know what? Shoot. Go in. Go in. There you go. There you go. Thank you very much. Come again. Lovely performance by the lads. The Premier League Sweat has been outperformed by the League of uh, La Liga Hybrid. And that is a lovely 4 1 win. Readily deserved, I believe. What a performance by the lads there. And once again, Claude Maurice, despite being, I think, the lowest rate player in the game, in, not again, in the team, stands out. They're looking, the man got what? Well, a 9.7, he was man of the match. And he, he contributed to three of the goals. Absolutely unbelievable player. Right, we are finally here. Our first ever division rival rewards. We finished off in division 8, if I'm not mistaken. Rank 3, I'm pretty sure. So we could choose between a rare extra players pack, 6.5k. An untradeable rare extra players pack, 11k. Coins, I'm going to go with the tradable rewards this time. If they gave you an extra pack... I probably would have gone untradeable, but we'll go tradable this time. By the way, guys, I just want to let you know that the reason why my coins are a little lower is because I have invested. Now, I did this last year, and it went down very, very well, so I highly recommend it as well. Kretetsky, 85 rate inform. I psyched him for 13 and a half. He was 17. I know he'll be... Oh, I actually sell the club. I know he'll be cheaper now, but when the player that wants the SPC comes out, if the one to watch SPC requires inform or icon SPCs, his price will shoot up. Guaranteed. I will be guaranteed to make at least 10k profit. So, for example, when it comes to team again, we didn't even get to look at the team of the week, which is a nice team of the week, by the way. A lot of our very good overpowered players, like Dennis Sakaria, you got Nkunku, you got Ozzyman, you got um, the premium team of the week, Felipe Anderson, which they nearly fixed his entire problem, which is the stamina. You got Fofana, who looks unbelievable. You got Mitch Smith Rowe, you got. Anu I, I don't know why you want Anuachu only because he's six foot seven. But just as a fact, he will go up a price for Adetsky. He will be over 20k by the time an, an SBC with an inform and around an 8 rate squad is needed. So just thought I'd let you know that. Anyway, we have five packs to open. Some of them are not so good. Some of them are actually okay. Jumbo 26 pack, it's meh. 82 plus rated pa player pack. I think it was a division rival reward from actual objectives. This is from assists. This is from Golds, and this is our actual pack, right? So we're going to start off with 
the 75 to 83 rated player. And who are we going to get? Uh, we get, oh, what's your name? Vida, yeah. Alright, the next one. Let's see what we get. We can actually get an inform in this, so. Alright, time set forward. And it's Yucking Korea. That's a nice little card. And Zagadu, not too bad. He always looks really sad. I don't know why. He just always has that sad face to me. I don't know why. Also, I turned up my volume a little bit because in some videos I noticed I'd have to tweak it a little just to make it a bit louder. So it's up by five. It could even be too loud now, but I'd rather have it too loud than too quiet. So Jumbo Gold 26 pack. Now we get ourselves another rare. A Dutch striker. It's Malin. I don't think this is tradable, which is a shame, because I actually think he's worth a little bit. Ah oh, no, he's only about 3k. It's a nice card, though. I'll take a look at the rare Electrum, because you're not guaranteed anything. There's the 82 plus, you're nearly guaranteed a board, so what do we get to... Hey, that's pretty good. <laughs> oh my god, we got in Trent twice in this episode. Three walkouts, three 87s. Thank you very much, EA. I will happily take that. Get in trend. What are the chances of that? Bolland as well. Ghost as well. We got Alexander Isaac as well. Who's unfortunately not worth anything. Anyone else? Any good looking silvers? Uh, this guy. Maybe no. But apart from that. Trent Alexander-Arnold for the second time. Still very, very cheap. I'm even tempted to hold on to him. But like comparing him to the other 87s. I'll list them up for the 15k and then hopefully make another bit of coins, but I think that was worth it. You get Bolland and Gosens in there as well. Happy days. And finally, our 82 plus rated player. What are we going to get out of this? Hopefully at least a board. And it is a board. A Belgian left winger. And it's Eden Hazard, 85. Wow, what has happened to you, Eden? My lord. All good things must come to an end. Was he still usable? Like, the pace isn't that bad. It's like... It's still good, the shooting's okay, the stamina, not so much, but he still looks very, very good as a left winger. Hmm. Good fodder, regardless, we're up to 18k now, and we still have to wait on a Trent to sell as well, and we're sitting on a Hrdetsky, so by the time we sell Hrdetsky, let's say her, we sell Hrdetsky, who's in my club, for about 20, 25k, we'll be up to 43, Trent for another 15, that's 58, We'll be up to about 60k maybe in the next episode or two. That's good. I forgot we also have Di Maria sitting in here who's worth like, what, 7, 8k? Yeah, he's worth about 7, 8k. So we'll be up to about 75k. And so, guys, we will end this episode with the marquee matchups completed. By the way, I did. I was up to 35k, but I did do some more sniping. And I managed to get myself some more Fredetskis. Two more, to be exact. Actually cheaper than the one I originally got. Because he actually went down in price due to rewards coming out. So I got this one for 11.5 and this one for 12. And one to watch is out today, later. So that's why I'm ending this episode here. Because then I can dedicate a whole episode to the one to watch promo. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like the episode, please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, comment, share your friends, all the great stuff. Your support is incredibly appreciated as always. We have started off very, very well when it comes to the channel on both series, the MHD to Glory and Project Rebuild. And I'm very, very happy to see that you guys are enjoying it. So we have the Silver Premium, uh, Premium Silver Player Pack, Premium Gold Players Pack, Prime Electric Players Pack, Mixed Players Pack, and a small rare Mixed Players Pack. I can't really expect much. I got 387s. I'm not going to complain. So if we get anything good, then that's just an extra, in my opinion. Right, Mixed Players Pack. Will we get anything in this? And we got... A rare bronze from Granada. Isma Ruiz. We got Jose Callahan who lost a leg over FIFA. Oma Bamadeli! Get in! Ireland's new hope. He's born in 2002. I feel fucking old. He actually looks pretty damn good though. 71 pace. He's 6 foot 2. Looks pretty damn decent. Right, what will we open next? The small rare mixed player pack. I've only spent like 700, 800 coins on this, so I can't really complain. Brazilian center mid, I, I was about to say is that Allen, because for some reason Allen's very expensive. I don't know why, his card looks very average, but we got Gerson, who actually looks pretty good. Right, last two. Prime Electrum players pack, so mixture of silvers and golds, and we get a board. Ah, oh, uh, Sabitzer. I was about to say Alaba. Sabitzer, that's good. Is he worth something? Maybe? Caicedo is there. Keep an eye out for Pacey centre-backs. Well, there is a Pacey centre-back, but not exactly the one I was on about. Yeah, he's not worth anything. He used to play for Lille, by the way. Uh, where is he? Sabitz, are you worth anything? Not really, no. But you have a very, very nice card. Pacey, very good shooting stats. Amazing shooting stats. Passing's good. He can even defend a little. 
nice card in my opinion. But I can't complain, so thank you guys so much for watching. We're going to end this on a nose pack. 25k pack. I don't really like these, but yeah, there you go. We ended off with... James Rodriguez. James Rodriguez, Regalon, I doubt sells. Yeah, he sells for 2k. El Shirawi, and a couple of other players here. So thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, I will see you next time.